Welcome. I've got a lot of questions in the comment section of the previous video that I did that how can I get twins? How can I get triplets? How can I get quadruplets? So I thought it well to answer it today. Stay tuned. If you are new, please subscribe. For those who have done so, thank you. Now, this is an interesting video that I'm going to discuss the types of twins, the factors that can increase your chances of having twins, and the signs of twin pregnancy. So if you are looking for twins, this video is for you. Now, when we talk about twins, we need to know the types of twins. We have the identical twin and the fraternal twin. Identical twins are scientifically known as the monozygotic. Mono means one. What happens during ovulation, you know, the mother produces one egg that's going to be fertilized by one sperm, you know, forming a zygote that will further divide into two, you know. So these monozygotic twins, they carry the same genetic information, you know. They are in the same placenta, you know. So these monozygotic twins, they resemble each other. They look alike. You know? So this can be of the same genders. Mostly they are of the same gender. If they are girls, they are girls. If they are boys, they are boys. You know? They are very rare are types of uh, twins. They are three in a thousand. So this is what happens in identical twins. Now, when we talk about the fraternal twins, or what we call the dizygotic. Di means two. What happens? The mother releases two eggs that's gonna be fertilized by two different sperms, you know, to form a zygote that will further divide. So this, they don't contain the same genetic information. They don't share the same placenta. And also, they don't look alike, you know, they are of different gender. So this is what we call the fraternal twins. However, we have also the conjoined twins. The conjoined twins, what happens is that during the, uh, the vision, the zygote does, doesn't divide anymore. So there is more of a result of conjoined twins. The other thing is that we need to know that we have the triplets and the quad uh, plates. This is when a mother produces the egg that is going to be uh, fertilized by one sperm to form a zygote. This is going to divide. Again, it's going to divide into three, two, five, and more. But these types of twins, they are very rare. Now, what are the factors that can increase your chances of getting twins? Number one is family history. You know, if you have a family history of twins, there's more likely, you know, to have twins. More so when there is a family history in the woman side, there's high chances of getting twins. The other factor that can increase your chances of getting twins is what you call age. Uh, research has been done that uh, women who are above that five, they are more likely to get twins than the younger women. This is because during this period, this perimenopausal period, you know, there is hyperstimulation of the ovary. And if the ovaries are hyperstimulated, they're gonna produce more than one egg. So there is high chances of getting twins. The other factor that can increase your chances of getting twins is what we call the in vitro 
fertilization. You know, when I mean in vitro fertilization, I mean one egg from a woman, one sperm from a man. That is the fertilization gonna occur in a test tube in a laboratory settings. Thereafter, the transplant is gonna happen in the uterus. During this process, the embryo may divide in earlier stage, resulting in uh, twins. So there is high chances you increase the chances of getting twins during in vitro fertilization. Now, this is fertilization that occurs outside the womb. Now, the other factor is what we call uh, height and weight. You know, the research has been done showing that if a tall woman, they have high chances of getting twins, you know, uh, than shorter women. However, even shorter women can get a uh, twin pregnancy. The other thing is that uh, weight, if you are obese, you are more likely to get twin pregnancy. Now, the other factor that can increase your chances of getting twins is what we call uh, during breastfeeding. If you get pregnant during breastfeeding, there is high chances of you getting what we call twins. The other factor that can increase your chances of getting twins is what we call the use of fertility medication. This use of fertility medications, such as the chromophil, gonadotropin, gonadotropin are medications, gonna cause the increment of what we call the luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, you know. This gonna cause what we call the hyperstimulation of the ovaries. Hence, there is a result of more than two eggs production. Hence, there's high chances to increase to get uh, what we call twins pregnancy. The other thing that uh, I gonna discuss is what we call the signs of a uh, twin pregnancy. What are these signs? Now, number one is what we call the big belly. You have a big belly more than the gestational age. Like you are in 20 weeks, but you look like someone at time. So there's more chances that you're going to have twins. The other uh, sign is what we call uh, gaining weight uh, quickly. There's high chances that if you gain weight quickly, you're going to have what we call twins pregnancy or you are carrying twin pregnancy now the other sign is uh, when you feel the vital movement in different areas you know one in, in more than one and in different areas there is more likely that you are having twins the other uh, sign uh, of twin pregnancy is what we call um, excessive vomiting yes during pregnancy there is excessive vomiting, but this one can be more of the other uh, normal uh, pregnancies. So this is what we call the hyperemesis, excessive vomiting. So there is more likely that you are carrying twins. So hoping I've answered the question, continue asking the questions. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Subscribe to get more of these uh, videos. See you in the next topic.